This is one of the best videos I've seen on the killing of the Massey, Sonia Massey in Springfield, Illinois. This is one of the best clips I've seen of a policeman speaking against a cop and calling it as a murder. Check it out, folks. This is very, very good. Check it out, folks. Much love. shot in her home in the head for no reason by a peace officer a lot of people speaking out about it people you don't often hear speaking out about it are police officers until we got this gentleman right here don't know what department he's from don't even know what state he's from but obviously he's a police officer and he had a lot to say about what we all witnessed on social media or wherever you may have witnessed it a few days ago so i'm going to go ahead and stop talking i'm going to play the clip of this police officer Explaining what he saw and explaining how he feels about the murder of Sonia Massey. Let's go. Hey guys, some of y'all have tagged me and some of you have messaged me for my take on the incident that happened in Springfield, Illinois. And my take is this. Uh, Miss Sonia Massey had some things going on. That night it appeared Miss Massey needed help. Instead, Miss Massey was murdered. That's my short take on it. Cut and dry. She was murdered by a thug that had a badge and gun and an evil spirit. The longer version is I watched this video. I had to rewatch it to make sure I saw what I thought I saw the first time and it really bothered me as I know it bothered you if you've seen it. I fast forwarded to the part right before he shot, put my ear to the phone, closed my eyes. For some reason I think I can hear better when I do that to make sure I heard the back and forth like I thought I did. Let's rewind. First off, the guy that shot her was already a little ticked over asking her for her license and she couldn't find it. First off, she didn't have to give him her license. She was in her home. In her home. There was no reason for her to give him her license. Fast forward. Pot of water. His partner is the one that told her to go around there and get it. He's standing pretty close. Situational awareness. He backs up and moves off to the side, kind of chuckling about it. He didn't fear her, but he wasn't taking any chances at all. Completely understandable. She asked, where are you going? He says, away from your hot, steaming water. water. Then she says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. But she's not talking to that guy. She's looking at the guy that ends up shooting her. He says, huh? She says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. This sets him off. I rewatched it. I listened. I rewatched it over and over. She is not trying to close the gap on him. She is not drawing back to throw the hot water on him. He goes off at being rebuked. I believe this wholeheartedly. Y'all can make fun of me if you want to. I believe this. What does he say? You better effing not. Or I swear to God, I will shoot you in the effing face. At which point, she's scared to death. Pot goes on the counter. Nothing in her hand. She cowers down, understandably. He saw her put the pot down. He keeps saying, drop the pot, drop the pot, drop the pot. She starts peeking back up. What does he do? Still nothing in her hands. Pot's still on the counter. He follows through what he told her he was going to do. He shot her in the effing face. Murder. During the aftermath, the 
does not administer aid, discourages his partner from administering aid, says on the radio, yeah, she's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood. No remorse. Nothing. This guy should have never been in law enforcement, and he deserves to be in prison for the rest of his life. Law enforcement failed Miss Massey that night. She needed help, but she got murdered instead. That's my take, guys. God bless. Okay, if you didn't see it before, you saw you know, the policeman speak it real, and he kept it real. If I said it before, I say no. All cops are not bad. They're not all bad. They've got some good ones. But they got to speak out against the uh, injustice to make it right. I'm already a piece of lots of love.